Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to just voice over some training of mine and talk about my motivations leading into uh, North Americans and for next year's nationals. And I know it's a, a ways out to be thinking of next year's nationals, but whenever you get to this level of powerlifting, you kind of have to keep that drive year round. And that's something that I've been very good at is just staying focused for an entire year. And this past year, whenever I won nationals, um, it was coming off of an entire year of prep from the nationals before where I lost. So um, this way of motivating myself has worked well in the past. And I just want to share with you my thought processes. Now, as you could probably tell from the title of the video, I'm training with a bit of a chip on my shoulder. Now, you might, as winning nationals and being the national champion, you might think that I have a sense of relief, like, oh, I finally got there. But I feel like since I had gotten that title, there are still some nagging things that um, have been on my mind and they still drive me to train hard to this day. And, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. One of those things, and it just so happens that the world championships for the 120s were today. I, I followed along while I was training in the gym. Congrats to all of the 120s who competed. And I do want to say this right off the bat. This is not, um, meant to slight anyone. I love all of my fellow competitors. And, you know, this is purely in my mind. I'm, I'm sure I make it out to be something bigger than it is, but it's a great fuel for training. One of those things is I have a chip on my shoulder because any other year for the past, um, however many years that I can think of, right? The path to worlds was to win at nationals. You win your weight class, you're the national champion, and you go to worlds. This year, because of Sheffield, and I totally understand why they did it, um, so don't let this seem like I'm complaining about the selection process, but um, I won nationals and I didn't get an opportunity to compete at worlds. And because of that, the United States didn't have a 120 it in the flight of 120s. And looking at how world's shaped up today, I'm not going to speculate where I would have placed, but I would have been in the mix at least. And, you know, I feel a little bit just frustrated because I didn't get the opportunity to do that. Now, it comes back to me. There was a number that I needed to hit at nationals to guarantee that spot. I did did it. I didn't do it. So it's all down to me. But there is a part of me that's like, ah, any other year if I would have won, I would have been on the team. So there's that. The second thing that I have a bit of a chip on my shoulder that I'm carrying around, and I think about it every day whenever I train, is I just got this overall feeling from nationals and hearing like the the talk around nationals I felt like it was I I just got this feeling like I won by default or maybe people thought that way and maybe that actually isn't the way that people were thinking but instead of hearing about my performance succeeding uh, there was a lot of talk about, you know, Mike Tushier's back injury and how Enrico it wasn't a hundred percent, and um, it, I kind of got that feeling of like, well, if they were if they were healthy, then they would have won, or the outcome might have been different, and in my head, I feel like that diminishes what I was able to accomplish, and. And it's frustrating. So um, I almost feel like unfinished business being able to, you know, go and I have to defend that title because you know what? Hopefully next year Mike's completely healthy. I'll, 
I'll get to compete with him in North Americans as well. And shout out to Mike. He's, you know, everyone knows this at this point, but he's a lifter that I've looked up to for a long time. And same thing for Enrique. Um, those are two of the, the best competitors that I could ask for. And I, I really just genuinely enjoy getting to compete with my fellow 120s. But I did walk away from Austin with a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth because I felt like a lot of the talk was around Enrique making weight and being down from that, and Mike being down from a back injury. Well, you know what? We all deal with those issues. I had to make weight too. Um, we all deal with injuries, and you know it is what it is. But I'm just driven to make it happen again next year, hopefully, you know, and um, kind of put those feelings to rest, at least from my end. So that's kind of some insight on what's driving my training right now. Training is going very well, as you can see. We hit 715 pounds for four sets of two today in training. And honestly, they were at like RPE 8 at the at the highest there. So, you know, either way, I'm going to bring something huge to the table in August. And we'll kind of let the cards fall where they, they may. Now, the last thing that I'll say is when you're motivating yourself, right... I just know myself as a lifter that I get a whole lot out of negative motivations, negative extrinsic motivation. And that's what I would say these things are. I'm thinking about, um, you know, the talk around nationals or not being able to make worlds. All of those are extrinsic. Um, ultimately, if you want to make it a long time in the sport, the base of your lifting has to come from intrinsic motivation. And I want to make it clear, my base in this sport does come from an intrinsic motivation of me loving to lift weights in the gym. If I didn't do that, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't still be lifting. But those extrinsic motivators kind of give that extra level. I, I think of it as like a, a booster to, to my training. And anytime I'm feeling a little down, I think about that. Okay. And it keeps me hungry. So I feel like I have an advantage this year going into next, because even though I won, I'm still just as hungry, almost like I lost. And I think sometimes people lose that, uh, with victory. So thanks for listening to my rant. I appreciate you all drop a comment down below what motivates you in training and like, and subscribe, all that good stuff and happy lifting. Bye.